So, here's Vanguard. Um, so, the first thing we want to do is switch from that sawtooth to a square tooth. Sorry, to a square wave. That's better. Now, what we theoretically should do is go to pulse width modulation here, which is already set up as a modulator on this envelope, and also here. Crank it, and something should happen. But nothing happens, so why is that? That's because you can't modulate the pulse width of any square wave in Vanguard. You have to choose a particular one. So pulse width PWM would be the giveaway. Also, anything that has PWM behind it. So choose that. There's our square, almost square wave. Now if we move this, there we get it. We get the envelope adjusting the pulse wave. Let's try it on the what is normally the filter envelope. So, a bit more intensity. You can hear that now. So, let's try it with an LFO. Let's put the first part on again, just as a... Let's give it a bit of delay, make it sound a bit more interesting. Cool. That's the straight, st straight square wave. Now let's try modding it with LFO instead. LFO 1 here. Pulse width mod, that's the speed. It's starting to sound pretty similar to our last sound with the Alpino. No. Okay, a bit of filter action. Single envelope again. Sorry, single oscillator again. get that effect in Vanguard. And now a quick look at how we would create that same result in Zebra. Uh, Zebra is a different kettle of fish, it's a far more complex and capable synth, um, and there's many ways to do pulse width in Zebra. Uh, probably the easiest way is to go to phase, uh, invert uh, and put that to 50%. So that would normally be a saw wave. And now it becomes a square wave. Let's put that down an octave. Let's have a quick look at our oscilloscope. Yeah, there we have it square wave. Right, so let's just choose an LFO, a global LFO. Let's check that on the oscilloscope. There we have it. Interestingly enough, uh, Zebra's pulse width modulation is uh, bipolar as opposed to unipolar. So it actually does true pulse width mod, um, as opposed to the pseudo stuff in Albino and Vanguard. And if you want to know the difference, let's have a quick look at Albino's pulse width under the oscillator. Pulse width mod. 
As you can see, it goes to 50 and then back. And vanguards? Let's have a look at this one. Again, it goes to 50 and back, and just added curiosity zebras now. So a bipolar mod on zebra. <laughs> 